Welcome to Seattle Maritime Matters. I'm Tosca Pinder with the Seattle Propeller Club, and today we're here with Port of Seattle Commissioner Hamdi Mohammed. Thanks for joining us today, Commissioner. Thank you for having me. It's an honor, honor to share the space with you. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's get started. How about you tell us a little bit about the Port of Seattle and its role in the region? Great. Um, so the Port of Seattle is a government entity that I think often people don't know exactly what it does and gets overlooked. Uh, the Port of Seattle is our leading uh, economic driver in the Pacific Northwest. It's the government agency that oversees both SeaTac Airport and our seaports, including managing over $70 million of um, property taxes that come from our community. Um, it is, um, you know, it creates thousands of jobs in our region. Um, the Port of Seattle also is in partnership with the Northwest Seaport Alliance. We operate one of the largest uh, con uh, containerized shipping um, port in the United States. We are home, the home port to the Alaska fishing fleet and the Alaska cruise industry. Um, it is an industry that is uh, really has been centered around our recovery, helping us get back on our feet, creating opportunities, jobs, supporting our small businesses, and ensuring that um, we are creating um, opportunities for our King County residents. Just about every box that gets delivered to your door, whether that is a, a face mask or something else, it most likely came through the Port of Seattle. There's over 38 billion dollars in local economic activity that is generated uh, through the port. Yeah, uh, the maritime industry just plays such a large role in our local economy. You know, um, one of the things people want to know is, you know, how is the port working to create economic and quality of life opportunities for the residents here in the Pacific Northwest? Yeah, you know, this, the city of Seattle and the region are so um, fortunate to have uh, the maritime industry. Very few communities um, are fortunate enough to have a deep water port and infrastructure like um, our Ballard Locks. Um, but most people uh, take the industry, I think, for granted um, since its inception. The uh, maritime industry has provided a strong and steady economic uh, stimulus to our uh, community. It has provided high quality jobs to those who are willing to roll up their sleeves and get to work, right? And it, uh, a lot of the times people don't realize how lucrative the, the maritime industry is. Um, what is exciting to me about the uh, maritime industry is its ability to adapt um, innovative ideas, new technology. I mean, we're seeing um, us moving into a, a green economy, a blue economy, and the industry is moving along with it as the sea, the sea changes, as climate change happens, um, we're seeing the industry really adapt to that. And um, it's an industry that creates so many jobs. Um, workforce development in, is an area I'm really passionate about. And I've been on the Port Commission for I think less than 90 days. <laughs> and one of the initiatives that I have been pushing is our career launch program um, that really focuses on creating pathways to permanent jobs, permanent jobs in the maritime industry for our young folks. Um, it really focuses on um, raising awareness about the industry, um, preparing our young kids, and then uh, placing them in, in mar the maritime industry. And um, I'm proud to say that we have made an investment of over 3.9 million in um, the career launch program that really is focused on creating youth and local economic um, opportunities for our young folks in the industry. Wow, that's just amazing to hear. You know, um, workforce development is um, I hate to say a buzzword, but it's something that's so important and um, integral for, you know, the next generation to come through into the maritime industry. Um, I, you know, I followed you along the campaign trail. I've seen your passion and it's very exciting to have you here and hear more about that. Um, can you 
can you just tell us a little bit more about, you know, the future of the industry, you know, specifically around these, you know, the great careers the industry offers, um, but how you're using these programs and your goals and your drive, um, particularly to um, promote women and, you know, people from communities of color um, and opportunity into this industry? That's, yeah, that's such a great question. And um, really, that was centered in my campaign. Um, I often shared that, you know, my father was a truck driver, my mom was a SeaTac airport worker. And um, that's, you know, my decision to run for port commission really stemmed from my um, long history and connection to the port industries. And um, I really do see a disconnect between um, uh, the, this generation and the industry itself, um, you know, before the supply chain crisis, we were already seeing a crisis in our, in our uh, workforce, right? There's a huge labor shortage in the maritime industry. And there's so many young folks, folks of color who um, are not aware of the many opportunities that are available in um, the maritime industry. And so, you know, for instance, my, my career launch program that, that I'm pushing forward, it really creates an opportunity to apply a pro equity lens in analyzing our existing um, uh, programs and ensuring that we are really creating um, curriculums and pathways for, for folks to be able to enter the industry, that we're not just, you know, creating an internship program where a, a child is exposed to an industry for a short period of time and then you know, then they have to move on and, and not really have a job. And so um, really creating a pathway that leads to a permanent job is a priority of mine. And we are in a really exciting time with um, all of the dollars that are coming from the infrastructure bill. Um, our region is estimated to get what, $6 billion to come to our state that will support um, our infrastructure and our maritime industry, right? There's Two point what two point five billion for shore power for cargos. Um, companies are able to see carbon credit, um, so they're electrifying. We're electrifying our port and also remaining to be competitive. And it's the same for our airport. And so as these dollars come to our region, we have to really think about how do we make sure that we build the infrastructure and then we have the workforce that can tap into that. And it really takes us, you know, as elected leaders, folks in government to roll up our sleeve and do the groundwork so our communities are prepared and that we are reaching communities that are furthest from opportunity and that we're exposing them to this really exciting industry where, you know, you're not just at home on a computer, but you could like literally be out there using your hands. And, um, you know, it's exciting to, some kids can go to a four-year institution and enter the maritime industry, or they can graduate right from high school because that's what they're looking for and get a job that is paying them, you know, at a starting rate of $70,000 million, uh, 70, a year. That's a living wage. That's an opportunity to take care of your family and um, to be able to put food on the, on the table and actually have a saving, to have access to healthcare. This is the type of industry that it can really um, move communities forward. And so promoting it to me is gonna be a, is, has been a priority during the campaign and is as I'm, I'm governing now. Great. No, all, all good things to hear from you and, and really just the proof in the, in the pudding, right? Why the maritime industry is such a great place to be for our future. Um, just kind of in close, I don't, you know, if you were to give our viewers one piece of advice, our, you know, future, the youth watching this, um, what is one thing that you would share with them? Great. Um, you know, if there's young folks who are, you know, watching this or community members, what I would say is look into the maritime industry. Um, if you're a parent um, or a young person, consider, you know, looking at maritime high school, which is a, a new high school that came online um, this last year and that really focuses on a pro equity, um, pro maritime uh, curriculum and is really exposing young people to a an industry and um, 
an opportunity to um, plan for their future. And so um, the maritime industry is exciting. You can get into logistics, you can um, do, uh, do things on the ground, work on a ship, or um, if you're someone who's an introvert and wanna work behind the scenes, there's opportunities for that. And um, it will help you land a job that you will be very proud of. And so what I say is look into the Port of Seattle's career launch program, look into Maritime High School, and you're always welcome to reach out to me to talk about um, port jobs and the port industry, and specifically maritime industries. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Commissioner. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you.